Hey guys, T Blake here. Today we are checking out the New Balance collaboration with Concepts. These are on the 998 model. They were nicknamed the C Notes. They are inspired by the upcoming $100 bill. If you guys checked out the photography in the beginning, you don't really see the resemblance between this shoe and the old one, um, especially because some of like the blue watermarks and whatnot are just not on that model. Nevertheless, I will say I wasn't feeling this model based on pictures in hand and actually getting it on feet. I really, really enjoy this. If anyone's on the fence, I know a lot of people were confused by the um, Bait Lagoons, uh, the ASICS model that's coming out because the photography is not true to the actual colors. These are true to the actual colors in person and it's a wonderful shoe. Let me walk you through it. Okay, so there's a lot of different colors and materials used on the upper paneling. We start with this very nice premium suede around the toe box that's cut in kind of a beige, um, sort of a tan. This reminds me a lot of the When Pigs Fly, the Concepts Edition, especially you'll see that shag haired suede on the tongue. It's almost identical. Um, around the toe cap itself, you've got a nice mesh material and then hints of 3M that kind of give it a nice border. On this panel, it's a slightly different cut, of a shorter haired suede. Got the New Balance backed in a nice olive trim while the New Balance logo itself is an eggshell white. Right here, you've got hints of gray for the lace eyelets. You've got a similar plasticky material used here that's in a sort of copper or a leather, which reminded me of a wallet. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. You've got some gray meshing here, and then around the back, you have that olive tone as well. Now, the New Balance logo is also cut in that off gray, and you'll notice the 3M trim comes back. The midsole is kind of like an aged paper sort of color. You have the absorb technology there. And then you get this nice little flash of blue, which at first I didn't really understand. Um, but as the shoe on feet, you'll see it, it just, it makes sense. It goes together really well. Now these came with a couple sets of laces. I have the cream set in right now. Let me show you the other two. So they came with the copper color that matches that back part area. And then this is hard to tell because the whites look so similar, but this white is more of a gray and it matches the inner liner. It's important to note that these shoes came with a standard New Balance insole. I was surprised that this shoe features no Concepts uh, branding whatsoever, which is kind of interesting. And you'll notice that the copper tones pick up on the tongue and then the olive as well with the uh, stitched in made in the USA. All right, guys, so a fantastic shoe. I hope you'll like them on feet. I'm going to be pairing them with some kind of olive colored uh, Zane robes that I got in so hopefully you'll get a good feel for what the shoe looks like on feet Let's do that cue up some music and put them on feet in the meantime If you enjoyed this review hit that like button for me it goes a long way Let me know what your thoughts were on this model if you copped while you didn't Popping bottles, bottle popping, and I'm smiling. No oh, man, who'd have thought it? Dylan Cooper really doubted. God damn, I'm a G. Really